we're going to make a light fixture with this basket that we found. It was $10 at a thrift store. We actually learned later it's not a basket. Well done, it has a hole. But I thought, oh, maybe it's meant to be a light fixture. But someone said um, they've seen them as tables with a glass top and like little, a little iron plant stand under it, which is kind of cool. But I was still up for the challenge to making it pendant light. And my trusty assistant, John, who's Spielberging the camera right now, helped. Um, we ran around town together and looked for things to make this into a light fixture. So this was $10. These are toilet flanges. They were each $3. I'll get back to what they do in a second. And this is a light kit for $19 that we got at a local lighting store. The thing I liked about this is it came with a canopy. A lot of times you can buy a light kit and it just is the wire and it's not finished. So for $19 we get the whole shebang. So it makes this whole project, this entire light, is going to be $35 when it's finished. And um, the problem that we needed these two flanges for was that Light kit plus basket meant nothing because it needs to be able to support and hold the basket up in the air. And it doesn't because it has this big hole. So that's where these came in handy. And we basically to find these, we walked up and down every aisle of the home improvement store and looked for things shaped like a donut that we thought we could shove in here and solve the problem. That was as scientific as it got. And we saw things in two sizes and got them both because we thought if something was too small, it would slip through this hole, which the small one actually does. And if something was too big, it would not hold it at this point. We'd screw it on and it would just slide right off of this. But we learned when we got home and started playing with it that two of them stacked actually do exactly what we need. This bigger one keeps it in the basket and the smaller one attaches it to the light fixture. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to put it together. Just turn the basket over. And we learned that we can kind of coerce this guy into going into this basket like that. It kind of nests. You have to talk sweetly to it and tell him he's handsome. And then this is the smaller one that nests on top. So what you're going to do is first take this off. This, this is what used to hold the shade of this. When we bought this, it had like a really crazy, ugly, yellow, spotted glass shade. And we didn't like that, so we actually left it at the store because we thought maybe they could resell it at the lighting store. And, um, wowzers. So this guy, hold on, I'm going crazy. This guy goes through this hole like that. I think you can see from above, right? And then uh, it comes through this, and this is where it's going to get caught with this piece. So this is the piece that used to hold the glass shade on. Now it's going to hold it to, I need like three arms for this part. You need longer arms. I do need longer arms. It's a short arm problem. Um, this is going to connect this pipe, or this holder, to the flange. So I just tighten, 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 as tight as it goes. And all of a sudden, it is attached to this and supported by the second one. So we can now install it and it's a $35 light fixture made from a vintage basket. The cool thing about it is this is completely safe because it's made for a pendant. It's made to be hung from the ceiling. It even came with the canopy. And we'll just um, shorten the cord to the height we want. And the good news for us is that when you look at it from the underside, it actually looks really clean and as if it were meant to be this way. So I stand firm that this guy was meant to be a light. And I hope that video was helpful. I don't know if it was.